And now we celebrate the life of Ben Bradley. The groundbreaking editor of the Washington Post died Tuesday at the age of 93 after inspiring generations of reporters with his uncompromising drive to get the story, get it right, and give no ground to the powerful. In newsrooms, he's a legend for reporting on history and making it. In my naive way, when I first came to this town, I didn't think presidents lied. Veteran of World War II, buddy of JFK. In 1968, Ben Bradley became the executive editor of the Washington Post. For 23 years, its fearless, dashing, and loved leader, fighting the government to publish the Pentagon Papers in 1971. We are free to publish what we always were going to publish, which was uh, material which in our mind the public had a right to know and which did no damage to the United States. And showing that same determination a year later with the story of a lifetime. Washington Post reported the today. Washington Post. Bradley backed and guided Woodward and Bernstein, then unknown, as they unraveled the Watergate scandal. Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, who are the two reporters involved, have done an extraordinary job. These guys were on a roll. They were just, they had the town by the throat. Uh, nobody else was touching them. In the movie version, Bradley yeah. was channeled by Jason Robards. I can't do the reporting for my reporters, which means I have to trust them. In real life, the Post coverage helped dismantle the Nixon administration. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Woodward and Bernstein remembered Bradley the night before his death. Here's an editor uh, without a real politics, whose real politics is about the truth. And that is what guided him in his career, guided him in his life. We need more Ben Bradley's. Bradley and wife Sally Quinn were right at the heart of Washington's social life. Quinn staying by his side as his health declined over the past two years. I don't think we have ever been as loving with, with each other as we are now. When Bradley received the Medal of Freedom last year, he was called a titan of journalism, a newsman forever. I miss the times when a story just plain consumes the readers when people seem to talk about nothing else. But I miss the excitement of the stories that quicken your pulse. That's when a newspaper man can get on with the job he was born to do. Not many of us were lucky enough to get that exhilarating opportunity again and again and again. Oh my. It's a man so full of life and so vital. And we should also say Sally Quinn cared for him so well mm -hmm. in his She's final a, years. It's a great love story. We're thinking of Sally this morning. We are. Yeah.